Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions. And a few weeks ago, we discussed kind of an intro to accounts payable, explaining what accounts payable is, why companies need it, how it benefits you, what to kind of look into there, and kind of the process of looking at it. This week, we wanted to continue that discussion and jump into talking about ways to really fully manage that AP. Not only what it, what it is, but what are different softwares that exist out there and kind of the differences between those softwares and why you should look at using them and what's better or what's worse in certain different areas. So this week, we're going to jump into talking about using QuickBooks and their built-in AP system, Bill.com, and Melio all three of which work well with QuickBooks Online, or you could even use them with QuickBooks Desktop and use them to manage your AP. The big one that we wanna kinda of start with is gonna be the built-in AP system that QuickBooks provides you. Whenever you're using QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online, they have a built-in AP system. It allows you to go through and enter all of your bills, pay all of your bills, um, and you can do it in kind of one of two ways. You could either use it simply for data entry. Um, it allows you to enter the bill, pay the bill, track your AP, track how much you owe each and every vendor, what bills you've paid. You can pull bill payment reports to send to the vendor. It gives you kind of all that information very easily, and it's free because it's built in free um, to the system that you're already paying for. You're not going to be paying any additional for it. Now, over the past few years, QuickBooks has rolled out the ability to kind of come in here and um, use their bill pay system to actually pay your bills. So you can either go ahead and through ACH, if your vendor is signed up with QuickBooks, they've got all their payment information in, etc., pay the bill directly through QuickBooks. That way you're not having to write a check or go off of QuickBooks or do anything like that. You also have the ability with QuickBooks to have it kind of read the bills a little bit. Um, about two years ago, they brought out where not only can you forward in receipts to QuickBooks, but you can also forward in bills to QuickBooks. And it allows you to go ahead and um, forward those bills in from a QuickBooks address, a user who has access to QuickBooks, an email address there, forward them in. It will read the bill, help to identify what's going on, help you with coding that bill to a point. Again, it's all AI. It's not 100% the best. There's better options. We'll get to those. But it does assist a little bit with this process. There's obviously limitations here. Um, where it has to be coming from an email address that has access to QuickBooks. You can't go to your supply house and give them your QuickBooks address and they send it directly there. They've got to send it to you and then you've got to forward it into QuickBooks. Same thing with their payment through um, their bill pay system. It's honestly a decently expensive out of the options that are there um, bill pay system. If you're just using QuickBooks to um, record the bills, record the payment of the bills, and monitor your AP, it's a great system. But if you're wanting to use it to physically pay the bills or to help you with the data entry and make it easier, there's honestly better options, even though there's going to be a slightly higher cost there to them. Um, the next one that we're going to kind of jump into is going to be kind of the upgrade to QuickBooks Bill Pay going to Melio. Melio is actually the original program that QuickBooks integrated with and partnered with to do their bill payments. And when QuickBooks partnered with them, one of the great things about it was as long as you weren't paying by credit card and you weren't sending, having Melio send a physical paper check, it was free. You weren't paying an ACH payment fee or a per um, bill payment fee or anything like that. 
it integrates with QuickBooks so that we can go ahead and we can see the bills being put into QuickBooks. They come over into Melio. It also gives us the ability to have multiple approval stages. So if you want to have someone, and this is huge in AP, we want separation of duties, and I'll talk about that in a second here. But if you want someone to enter the bills but not be able to pay the bills, you can have that set up going on. Then you can move to someone who can actually approve the bills and or pay the bills, or you could have a third step where someone approves the bills and someone else physically processes the payment. This separation of duties is a huge thing in accounting and gap accounting because it helps to eliminate embezzlement or someone taking money from you that you're unaware of because the person that is um, putting the bills in isn't the person writing the check and the person writing the check isn't the person signing the check. So there's always someone checking everyone else's work. So the person who signs the check is double checking that the person who wrote the check is doing something logically and that is allowed. The person writing the check is making sure that the bills that were entered by the other person are accurate and legit. They aren't just putting in random bills. So the separation of duties is huge, and this was a huge benefit to Melio. Um, QuickBooks, unfortunately, doesn't allow that separation of duties unless you're paying for their most expensive QuickBooks Online program at the QuickBooks Online Advance. And that costs way more to pay for that than to pay the nominal monthly fees to use Melio at this point. Now, Melio is no longer officially part of the QuickBooks ecosystem, i.e. it's not built directly into QuickBooks like it was about a year and a half ago. But it is still an approved QuickBooks app. It still integrates with QuickBooks. So it still will go ahead and pull all the data from QuickBooks. You can still have that separation of duties. And it still doesn't cost anything to pay any bills by ACH. It only costs if you choose to pay by credit card. Now there is now a nominal monthly fee to use the program, but it's very, very minimal and very reasonable. And in my opinion, if you are wanting a bill pay system, Melio is kind of the just right porridge. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not too expensive, it's not free, um, it's got some features but not all the features. It's very kind of middle of the road, um, it gets the job done, it's good, but it's not the best thing out there and it's not the free thing out there. So it's kind of right there in the middle. Um, ultimately though, because they're not charging you to process payments and everything, like QuickBooks does, generally it comes out cheaper to use Melio over using your QuickBooks direct integration. Because with QuickBooks, if you go to pay any more than like five bills a month, which most of my guys are going to easily um, exceed that number there, you're gonna start paying to use QuickBooks and pay your bills through there. Whereas Melio, again, as long as you're not using credit cards, you're good to go there. So it's definitely a great way to have a few extra controls, a few extra benefits um, over what you naturally have, and honestly, potentially even save some money here. So that's always a great thing that we wanna look at. And that's why Melio, in my opinion, is probably kind of the best option out there for a middle of the road system. Now, Melio is not the big, great, awesome, do it all program for you. It's not gonna do everything here. It will get all the payments done. It will give you some minor separation of duties. It will let you send checks if you need to send checks, but there is a step above that. And that's going into bill.com and bill.com is quite frankly, the gold standard. Um, Bill.com is, it's been around for years. Um, I think it's been around, honestly, back all the way into the 90s. Um, it is the gold standard. Your big companies, your big corporations, a lot of them will use Bill.com because it is the gold standard. If there is something to exist, if there is some need in accounts payable, Bill.com has it. 
If you want to have multiple different approval processes, Bill.com has it. If you want to have multiple stopgap separation of duties, Bill.com has it. If you want instant payout or instant bill pay, you're going to pay extra for it, but Bill.com has it. So when it comes to AP, Bill.com is the gold standard. It will have pretty much every feature you could think of and then some. Most people are not going to use 90% of what's in Bill.com, which is why it doesn't per se make sense to go from Melio to Bill.com, depending on the size of your business. It doesn't hurt to look at both of them. But Bill.com does have a pretty steep monthly expense outside of whatever it costs to process payments and everything like that. So they're going to hit you instead of a very fairly nominal amount like Melio does, they're going to hit you for a pretty large amount every month just to use their software even if you aren't processing anything. Now, it's a great program. Um, it's AI and its user interface is so much better. And Bill.com allows you to have an email address that you give to your supply houses and they can directly go ahead and code everything and their AI, their data processing system is way more accurate than QuickBooks. I would say about 80% of the time when we're working in bill.com, if we get a bill that's been ported in, bill.com reads it and it's accurate down to the cents, down to everything. And they do a really, really good job with it. Um, if, and you're not having to forward that in yourself. You're giving that email directly to the supply houses. So every time someone is going to the supply house and buying something, they are immediately going ahead and um, sending it in. It's in your system. You know you've got it. You're not worried about forgetting to forward an email that's in your email box or losing a piece of paper or anything like that. It's pretty much all automated. So it's a really great feature to have. Um, as far as, like I said, instant payouts, they can basically instantly pay someone. If it's a bill that's due that day, you forgot to pay it, you're going to have a huge late fee. You'll pay a little extra, like I said, but they can go ahead and within basically an hour, have that bill paid for you. Um, their security and everything is top level. They help have, again, a even better separation of duties. They integrate not just with QuickBooks, but you can use them with Xero, you can use them with Sage, you can use them with so many different software. So if you choose that QuickBooks doesn't work for you, you can still keep your bill pay system. They also integrate with HubDoc. So if you've got your guys um, uploading documents and uploading stuff in the field, Bill.com can integrate with HubDoc where it pulls that source document into Bill.com instead of where QuickBooks, any of those receipts or anything coming in, or Melio, any of those receipts or bills coming in, have to come from someone who has access to QuickBooks. So it definitely removes a lot of the need or a lot of the onus on whoever is doing the books, whether that be you, your office manager, your bookkeeper, it frees them up to do other things and allows you to make sure that the people who are actually out there working on everything, those are the ones that are incurring it. Bill.com is quite frankly the best option. Um, the, I, I can't say much around that because it is so advanced and I don't see anyone really coming to compete with them. But not every business needs that level of complexity. So when choosing your bill pay system, it's really important to understand what your needs are. If you're a one man show um, and it's just you going to the supply houses, using the built in QuickBooks, uh, probably perfectly fine because you don't need to do the ACH payments. You don't have a ton of load or anything like that. If you've got maybe three to four trucks on the road, not having to run checks or anything like that to your supply houses, that can be nice to go ahead and do um, Melio there so that you've got that ACH that doesn't cost you anything. If you're a larger company, you've got 15, 20, 30 trucks on the road, 
that's that's going to definitely be something where we might want to start considering bill.com. The benefits that you're going to have there are going to outweigh the cost more than likely. The other thing you've got to consider in choosing a system is how do you pay your vendors and supply houses. If your vendors and supply houses require you to go online and pay through their online portal, paying to use bill.com to electronically pay these things, there's no point because they're not going to allow you to use bill.com to do that. Some will, but not all supply houses do. A lot of supply houses require you to pay through their portal. And so needing that benefit of using a system where it pays for you and you can issue that payment and everything there evaporates and it's no longer necessary. Bill pay is definitely a great thing to have, a great thing to look into, and there are plenty of good systems out there. The three we talked about today are only scratching the surface, but are honestly probably three of the most common out there that we see and that we work with. Um, but ultimately, pick the system that works for you. If you found this video informational, educational, go ahead and share it with someone else that you think could benefit from it. Like the video, comment, that way we boost engagement and can go ahead and get in front of more people who can use this information just like you. If you're struggling with AP or want help picking an AP system out, we're here to help you. Feel free to reach out to us here at Waterford Business Solutions either by email at info at waterfordbusiness.com or give us a call at 864-351-0852 and we'd be happy to talk with you and work with you on how to implement bill pay systems, what you can do there, what's the best option for you, or help you in pretty much any other financial situation that you may need help with. As always guys, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week.